when the children come in every morning, they have an early morning task, so it's something they can get on with without my intervention whilst I'm doing the register. And one of those things is they all access the Nintendo DSs and they do their 20 questions, which is using the Nintendo DS brain training. And um, every morning they do 20 maths questions, simple maths facts. The kids have this technology at home and they're familiar with computers, they're familiar with computer games. Um, so they come to school already with those skills. It seems silly as a school not building on that and using it. Um, it's important that kids find learning fun and they certainly seem to see this is more fun than sitting there doing a times table test or questions out of a maths book. Um, at the start of the project um, we did do um, like a test with the children, um, basic number facts, that's the reason we started doing this project. We thought a lot of our children leave year six not knowing their times tables or basic addition and subtraction skills. So I wanted something that would um, help them to do that, that they'd find fun. So we did a speed math quiz at the start and I kept a record of the number of questions they got right and how quickly they managed to do it. And I've done that another time halfway through the project and I'll do it again at the end to see what they do. Um, on a daily basis, the children can see on the, the machines themselves how they've done. It keeps a record of their score and the speed that they did it. It's like, it's got four numbers and you're supposed to memorise them and it'll show you the boxes and then you're supposed to press each box in the order which it goes in from high uh, to low. It's quite hard because um, as you move on there's like more boxes um, get put in so and you have to keep memorising them and when you get one wrong it means like your time in five seconds gets added two times every time you get one wrong. Um, it's just a really good change and like it does help like with your times tables and everything, the 20 questions. It does help with your maths I think because it's like you're adding up, subtracting, uh, doing the times tables so when you come to doing more maths then it'll just get high marks and be able to do more. Um, it's hard at the moment, we've not been doing it long enough to get clear results. Um, it's definitely from doing the initial assessment to um, the assessment we did sort of two months in, it had certainly increased children's speed at being able to answer questions. It hadn't fully increased their accuracy, they hadn't got any worse, um, but they hadn't got any better at getting more questions right out of 50. But they were getting the same number correct in a quicker time. So it certainly has helped with that little aspect. Um, the special needs children, the children that struggle more, I've noticed a difference with those children more, more than others. And that's the good bit to see as a teacher. Um, children, I suppose they get the recognition straight away on the screen, they can see they've beaten their own score. And maybe sometimes they weren't getting positive results every math lesson. Um, so for those children, it's helped them more than your more able ones. It's like a challenge for you in a way, like trying to get quicker each time as if, if you're writing it down on your book, like you just do it as you go along. But to have like a time, time is a good challenge. And it helps you get brainy as you go along. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there's one that's a reading one and you have to like read like a like you turn it that way and you read like quite like a few paragraphs in a certain amount of time and that gets you reading quicker as well. People that don't have Nintendos at home, like we help them like how to get on to the game and things and where things are in the game. They sense it quicker than I do if they don't know how to input the data and to start off you have to input your data and they all helped each other to do that and if they see somebody in the class struggling they'll go over and help. I think it's given parents an idea of something else they can do at home um, to encourage their children. A lot of parents want ideas as to what they can do um, to support what we do in the classroom. I think it's something exciting and different and not many schools have it so I think we're lucky to have the Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah, I'd really encourage anybody to do it. Anything that helps children in your classroom want to do math questions is uh, worth, worth getting into and investing, I'd say.